Cobra vs Python, two deadly species face to face. What could happen in those moments? This is Mr. Jam Speaks, dissecting this matter once and for all. The term Cobra is abbreviated from the Portuguese Cobra de Capello, which means snake with hood. Cobras are found from southern Africa through southern Asia to islands of Southeast Asia. Cobra species inhabit a range of habitats including forest, grassland, desert and cultivated areas. They vary both in size and in the toxicity of their venom. Cobras generally possess long and slender bodies with smooth scales. Their heads are typically covered with large shields and their eyes have round pupils. The Pythonidae, commonly known as pythons, are a family of non-venomous snakes found in Africa, Asia and Australia. Among its members are some of the largest snakes in the world. They have triangular shaped heads and sharp backward curving teeth that they use to grab prey. All pythons are non-venomous, but a handful of species do grow large enough to constrict and kill their opponents. These include the reticulated and the Burmese pythons, along with a few other species. Cobras are highly venomous snakes, most of which expand their neck ribs and are capable of rearing upwards and producing this hood when threatened. Most members of pythons are ambush predators, in that they typically remain motionless in a camouflage position and then strike suddenly at passing prey. Cobras kill their prey by injecting venom through their fangs. The short fangs at the front of the mouth have an enclosed groove which delivers the venom. Spitters propel venom through the fangs by muscular contraction of the venom ducts and by forcing air out of the single lung. The world's largest venomous snake is the king cobra. It is no doubt that the king cobras do occasionally consume large prey of which pythons are no exception. Pythons are fierce carnivores. When they notice suitable prey, they strike, grip it with their teeth and pull it towards them. Cobra's venom is a neurotoxin that stops the victim's breathing and heartbeat. These creatures strike with ferocity and can bring down opponents hundreds of times their size. Cobras don't have to hunt often, but when they do, the combination of the size and their potent venom makes them one of the deadliest creatures living in our times. Python, on the other hand, use their sharp, backward curving teeth, four rows in the upper jaw, two in the lower, to grasp prey which is then killed by constriction. After it has been grasped, the python quickly wraps a number of coils around it. They suffocate their prey, squeezing to an extent that they cannot breathe anymore. When a cobra is on the defensive, he often makes his body appear as big as possible to look threatening. Cobras strike hard and fast. Cobra lunges in with a quick bite, plunging his fangs into his prey and just as quickly snapping back into his original place. From that point on, the venom does the work. After the venom kills the prey, the cobra unhinges his jaw and swallows it whole. Pythons, however, have good sense of smell and sight and most can also detect heat. Its lying between the lip scales have receptors that are sensitive to infrared radiation and enable pythons to see the heat shadow of those around them. Some species are capable of swimming and may lie partially submerged in shallow water, waiting for prey to visit the water body. A cobra strike is strong, but it doesn't always stop at one bite. It may strike an opponent several times, injecting unnecessarily large doses of venom into its prey until the prey is left paralyzed, waiting for its final fate. Pythons attack in an ambush, wrapping themselves around their prey and crushing it, squeezing tighter as the victim exhales. This exerts abnormal amounts of pressure stopping circulatory function and perhaps killing prey rapidly by disrupting their neural functions. Pythons swallow them in one go. One cannot but wonder how these deadly creatures are able to face head on in the hope of gulping the opponent while playing with their own death. Let me know in the comments down below who do you think might win at the time of face-off.